Welcome to West Coast Wednesdays. I'm Mark Herzl, the District Manager here at A.N. Derringer in Los Angeles, California. There has been an extraordinary amount of volatility in the Trans-Pacific Ocean Carrier market in the last six months. And with the advent of the April Ocean Carrier contract season quickly approaching, let's discuss the Trans-Pacific Carrier situation. Now, the impact of the sudden Hanjin bankruptcy last year took everyone by surprise. And now, uh, adding to this uh, shakeup, the FMC has approved uh, three ocean carrier alliances that will commence operation this spring. Now, when carriers make alliances, uh, they agree to share space on each other's vessel, which allows them to more efficiently use that space when they offer services in that same trade lane. Also allows them uh, to offer more geographic coverage without buying or leasing uh, more ships. Now, recent uh, alliances that uh, have been announced have uh, the Ocean Alliance, which has CMA CGM, including their recent acquisition of APL, along with Costco Shipping, Evergreen Line, and OOCL. Now, the Ocean Alliance uh, is expected to have the largest share of the Trans-Pacific trade at about 40%. Now, the Alliance has MOL, NYK, and K-Line, uh, who will be merged into one liner operation in 2018, along with Hapag Lloyd, which includes their uh, merger with uh, United Arab Shipping and Yang Ming. Now, the Alliance will carry about a 27% share of the Trans-Pacific trade. Now, the last but not least is the 2M Alliance. that has Maersk Line, which recently acquired Hamburg Suit and Mediterranean Shipping. Together, they've joined into a slot sharing agreement, a little different than Alliance, but a shot slot sharing agreement with Merchant Marine that was announced in December. And they're going to have about a 20% market share of the Pacific. Now, in practice, what this means is that some carriers can take ships out of rotation, decreasing the current overcapacity. But these alliances or teams of collaborating companies along with a number of other smaller independent ocean carriers who aren't part of any alliance at all may also bring excess ocean capacity into the market. So this may seem like a contradiction, but both excess capacity or capacity shortage could play out. It really all depends upon how these alliances actually operate. Now, if you want to learn more about uh, what the industry experts are predicting for uh, the 2017 shipping season, you may want to consider uh, joining the Journal of Commerce's 17th Annual Trans-Pacific Maritime Conference. It's held here, uh, right here in Long Beach, California, and this year starts February 28th and meets through March 1st. Representatives from Derringer will be in attendance, so shoot us a quick email at marketing at anderringer.com if you'd like to meet up for a coffee. We look forward to uh, sharing our insights with you throughout 2017. Now, go out there and have yourself a great Wednesday.